Hey guys, it's me. Uh, this is going to be another episode of Confessions of a Goth Mom. Or Goth Mom Confessions. Goth Mom Confessions or Confessions of a Goth. Goth Mom Confessions rolls off the tongue better. I'm pretty sure that I've like posted a couple of these within the different order because I can't keep them straight. Whatever. Without further ado, all moms can relate by the way. Anywho, uh, I am so sorry it's taken so long for me to upload anything. Um, it has been a hell of a couple of weeks. It really has. Oh, and if you're loving my lipstick, trust me, I am too. Matte flat lipstick. And it's this really, really cool blue color. I got this from Hot Topic for like $5 and it is phenomenal. It feels great on my lips, it's comfortable, it's pretty, just the coolest blue color I've ever seen. So, just wanted to kind of gush about that for like two seconds. And back to what we were doing. This is going to be a body positivity video. So, as moms, we all know our bodies change so much throughout the pregnancy process. But our bodies don't stop changing there. Obviously, when you have the baby, there's lots of weird morphing going on. Um, then there's the post-baby weight gain or loss, depending on how uh, stringent you are on your diet or how disciplined you are. Um, everyone is so very different. Um, some people lost weight during pregnancy. Some people gained weight during pregnancy. I was one that lost weight and gained it back after. <laughs> Um, and that's a hundred percent because with both babies, I had no appetite. I was constantly puking throughout the entire pregnancy. Food was just disgusting. I wanted nothing to do with it and eating was a chore because I knew I was going to throw it back up. Uh, so I technically lost about 40 to 45 pounds with both pregnancies. Now, right after, obviously I started loving food again <laughs> and I started eating everything I wanted. Uh, my vice is sugar. I love sweets of any kind, any form, everything. Everything that's sweet, dessert, love it. So with both pregnancies, I have steadily gained weight. Now the first one was awful. I think I gained like 70 pounds or something ridiculous. I was at like 220. Um, and I really hated everything about how I looked. I didn't like the way I looked in clothes. I didn't want to go clothes shopping. I didn't feel confident in myself and I was just really depressed and just kind of wanted to live indoors essentially. Um, and that's not healthy, you know, um, but it was something I really couldn't help. Um, I'm a year post second baby. <laughs> And um, my my life has been a roller coaster essentially, um, and I'm working on kind of getting some things back in swing and whatever. But the whole point of this video is we need to embrace our mom bod because whether you are a gym fanatic or you just eat your feelings or you can't lose weight no matter what you do or you lose too much weight no matter what the circumstances are you probably still have the saggy belly skin and the tiger stripes of mommyhood <laughs> stretch marks obviously um and it took a while for me to get here it took a while for me to get here mentally but those stretch marks that saggy skin it's a badge of honor. It's a badge of honor because we built humans. <laughs> we, we built humans from the ground up and then sent them into this world, whether it be with a C-section or natural, it was still a process. <laughs> whether you're single or you're married, uh, it does not matter. You have to love yourself for who you are, for what you are, regardless of what you're wearing on the outside. Um, because if you can't love yourself the way you are, then you're, you're not going to love yourself once you reach that goal. 
of weight loss or fitness or plastic surgery. If you can't love yourself now, it's going to be temporary when you, when you reach that goal. And you'll constantly be fighting for perfection and it's going to be futile because you have to be like, wait, wait, wait a second. So you're telling me I have to build a human and then fight my way to perfection till someone likes the way I look again? No. Now, if you want to go to the gym and take care of yourself because it's healthy, do it. That is awesome. If it makes you feel good, do it. That's awesome. When it comes to diet, um, if you're eating, you know, poorly and it's making you feel sick, then absolutely change your diet. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is embrace the body that you have earned because it's, it's going to change over time, but those little tiny stretch marks will always be there to remind you that you brought something incredible into this world. And that's something that men can't do and some women can't do. And it's an incredibly beautiful, amazing thing. If it wasn't for us, our population would die off. And that that's just monumental, you know? Um, and so to kind of cap this off, I will be a uh, bare tummied. I'm going to show you my mom stripes. I'm going to show you the tiger stripes of mommyhood, the saggy skin. And yes, I'm definitely a little chunky in the middle, but I'm okay with it because I might lose some weight in two weeks when I start going to the gym regularly again. I might gain some weight when I start eating full cheesecakes because I just feel like it, you know, it just, whatever mood strikes me <laughs> because uh you know I have two beautiful gorgeous little girls in my life and they're all I could ever ask for to be happy and I am so proud of what I've been able to accomplish and um I'm completely okay with how I look I I can totally rock a you know midriff bearing top I can wear a crop top I can wear a bikini because Fuck it, man. That's my body. You don't have to like it. It's mine. I keep it. <laughs> um, so this is just kind of to empower you girls. Um, obviously not everybody's going to be comfortable with how they look after they have a baby. That's the whole point of this conversation. It's normal. It's completely normal. And I don't want you to feel guilty for not liking your body. I want you to feel empowered to start loving it over time. It didn't happen right away. And it, it didn't happen like because of a process or anything like that. It just happened and it will happen for you as well. Either you're going to just absolutely start falling in love with fitness or you're just going to love you for who you are. And there's, there's fitness gurus out there all the time that are showing off that they have saggy skin despite working out continuously because it's just a thing that happens. Skin can only stretch so far. And once you get to a certain age, it can only shrink back so far. Um, you know, I'm 32, so obviously my skin's not going to be as elastic as a 20 year old who has babies, but I don't, I'm okay with it. I'm good. You know, I'm very happy um, where I'm at mentally, physically, the whole nine. Um, I, I do plan on picking back up belly dance because belly dance is a really great way to stay in shape, but overall, more than anything, it's super fun. It makes you feel sexy, and I think I'm gonna really pull it back together and just have fun with it. If I lose weight, cool. If I don't, also cool. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is just kind of being a PSA and I just want you guys to know that you are gorgeous, you are amazing, and if anyone tells you anything different, they can suck it. Now please enjoy me showing off my, my belly.